Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel All About BI. This is going to be a pretty basic session on select transformation and derive column transformation. Okay, so in real time, I do see uh, people having confusion over these two transformations when to use which transformation. Okay, that's why I just wanted to cover it in a very short session. Okay, so uh, the aim of today's uh, session is to understand when do we have to use select activity or select transformation and when derive column. All right, so I have two re requirements in hand uh, in order to explain the differences between select and derive column. Okay, so the first requirement is uh, I have a data flow. Uh, my source is connected to Azure SQL table. Okay, it has 17 columns and what I want to do is I want to convert all the column names to lowercase column names. Okay, so right now if you see uh, in all the columns you see the first letter being capitalized in each word. Okay, so I, I don't want uh, this capitalization. I just want to convert all the column names to lowercase. This is requirement number one. And second requirement is I want to convert the data type of certain columns from timestamp to date type. Okay, these are the two requirements. First, I will touch upon select transformation. Okay, so the moment I add select transformation, you will be seeing the mapping. Okay, so it will just bring all the columns from your source and it will be uh, mapped to the same column name. Name as is nothing but this is the alias name if we want to uh, change the column name okay so basically whenever you want to rename a column or you want to modify the order of the column for example i want to move this product id column to the bottom most and i want to move this row guide id column to the first column so this kind of uh, small small changes to the column names uh, as i told you if you want to change uh, uh, the casing of the column or if you want to change the order of the column you want to give some alias name to the column or you want to drop certain columns for example in my source i said i have 17 columns i don't want certain columns like thumbnail photo or thumbnail photo file i can remove using select transformation so select transformation can't be doing um, any other transformation on columns okay so it is uh, uh, it, its purpose is to serve certain basic things with respect to column names okay uh, renaming a column changing the order of a column dropping some columns okay these are the uh, primary uh, or these are the things that select transformation can do okay so coming back to the requirement how are we going to change the case of all the columns i can go and type straight away okay but this can't work on real time because if you have hundreds and hundreds of columns you can't be going and typing all the way right so what do we do we have to remove all the default mapping and what you can do is you can add a rule based mapping once you add a rule based mapping you can delete the first row which is not required okay so how can we uh, convert the case using a simple expression okay so on the left hand side you as you are seeing enter matching condition this is a condition that uh, will filter out the columns in our case we need not filter out any column because we want to convert the casing of all the columns okay so what i'm going to do i'm just going to give one equals to one so that it matches all the columns from source okay this will make sure all the columns from source are brought in and passed on to the next to transformation without leaving anything okay so this is the uh, expression that we are giving and name as what uh, should all the columns be named as same as the column name but in lower case this dollar dollar is nothing but this is equivalent to this pointer okay in c plus plus and all we uh, used to refer uh, uh, this pointer right uh, current uh, or refer to a particular object uh, current object and all so similarly whatever column names matched by this expression that is going to be brought under dollar dollar okay so this dollar dollar is going to give you a list of column names that are matched by the given condition so what we are doing here we are just doing a lower case conversion lower of dollar dollar okay that's it you need not do anything else i can go and check in my data preview whether my column names are uh, coming as lower case column names okay so this is requirement number one 
and requirement number two is nothing but I have to convert this timestamp columns into uh, date time column. So you can ask. Uh, we can make use of one more uh, rule based mapping. Okay. I can say time equal to timestamp. With whichever column has type equal to timestamp, it will be matched. Okay. So here I can give to date dollar dollar okay so uh, this is what we are trying to do now so if i mention this right this is syntactically correct okay there is no issue with respect to how we have written the expression and all um, but if you go to data preview and try to see right you will uh, see issues okay so what i have done i have matched all the timestamp columns and then i am converting it into two dates so i am just going to data preview and you can see that null pointer exception okay uh, you you see basically some issues okay so if i the moment i remove this particular mapping and i go and refresh my data preview it's going to bring me all the column names in lower case okay why this is throwing issue is select transformation is not intended for any data type conversion if you want to do any data type conversion then you will have to be using direct column transformation that's what i wanted to show you okay right now the results are rendered all right so i'm going to add derived column transformation and do the same thing that i did in the select transformation for type casting okay so here we have something called add column pattern okay in our source we have a uh, uh, different or four timestamp columns you can write four different expressions or four uh, you can write static expressions to convert these uh, four column names from timestamp to date time but what if in the future your upstream system is going to push more timestamp columns at that time you will not be able to come to your pipeline make the modifications and push it further right downstream so we have to make things dynamic as much as possible so what we can do is we can add pattern there's something called column pattern okay click on that column pattern delete the default pattern and then give the matching condition what we gave in the select statement the same thing we are going to give timestamp this type is a property that is associated with each column okay there are certain properties that come along with each column one is type another is name these two are the mainly used properties that are exported with all the columns in the data flow okay whichever uh, column has the type timestamp this will be bringing up those uh, column names so you are going to call that as dollar dollar and then write the expression to date of dollar dollar and that's it let's go to the data preview and do a refresh now all right the results are rendered for us if you see here in up to select transformation the type of uh, cell star date is timestamp okay and after we have converted it using the derived column it has become a date column right so uh, what i primarily wanted to convey in this video is uh, know when to use select transformation it's pretty simple it is not intended for any kind of modification to the column in case you want to do any modification please use direct column transformation because it's not uh, throwing any design time error only if you preview the data you will come to know about certain issues but then you will not be able to understand why it's throwing error like uh, how we saw right null pointer exception and all we will not immediately understand what this is going to be telling us right so just uh, make sure you understand when to use which transformation okay so that's it for this video uh, if you have any questions uh, let me know in the comment section thanks a lot for uh, all your support keep watching the videos